one of the audience members asked that you hinted at um, connections between music and speech, and they were hoping you might be able to say a little bit more about that. Sure, happy to. Um, well, you know, there's some people that think speech came or language came first, um, and that music came out of that machinery. And there are others like Darren that thought no, the reverse was true. I actually think that they that music and language co-evolved together. And you have musical abilities uh, used differentially more of this side of the brain, the right. Language is more of the left. And as I'm speaking to you now, I'm doing both because my, hopefully, my tone of voice isn't totally flat, like, you know, the Atlanta airport. In other words, we have, we're conveying information through affect or prosody or tone of voice all the time. And that's from the musical side of the brain, and it's important information. It's um, giving information above and beyond um, the spoken symbolic words and adults. And it takes a long time for a child to get to do this. But if you, um, adults, if they talk to somebody and the person's saying one thing with the speech, but the body language makes the listener suspect the veracity of what they're saying, the listener is going to go with the tone of voice. And that's a learned skill. So I think that the machinery's there, it co-evolved, and I'm not talking about symphonies, you know, uh, any more than Shakespeare's sonnets. Those are even more derived out of those two facets. But I really think, you know, the brain evolved um, together and these are, uh, and they timeshare music and language, some parts of the brain. And so I think it was together. <laughs>